Nigerians must close ranks and collectively ensure that the nation does not continue on the path of moral decay. At a valedictory session held in honor of former Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Usani Usani, there was a unanimous agreement on the values that must be adopted to enable Nigeria achieve its full potential. Cyril Abaku reports. It's an unlikely platform for deep, reflective submissions on the state of the nation. But there is an urgent call for Nigerians to rally and save their collective destiny. I used to tell them that our generation is not appointed to rest because this is the generation with the last opportunity to salvage our heritage. And if it passes, we are finished. The former minister adds that such consensus building has been the secret behind the ministry's achievements on his watch and because gives an overview of some other key seen, issues. We have a concern and we have demonstrated it as this beginning from listening to the people and they listening to us. A form of confidence has been built by which the people now trust that they should give a chance to see what government can do. If the ministry relocates to Niger Delta, whether it's Calabar, Wari, Asaba or Port Harcourt, recall that every Wednesday there is executive council meeting. As a ministry, the minister must attend executive council meeting. And so if I have to, if the minister has to travel on a Tuesday to attend meeting on Wednesday, and the meeting ends in the evening and he returns back on Thursday, so effectively that minister will be working for only Monday and Friday. So it becomes impossible to operate. If you follow that progress, you see that we have blacklisted the minimum of five companies. And that by that blacklisting, it means they are not qualified to further do contracts with the ministry, while giving them a time period in which to return and correct those jobs. A commissioner serving with the Code of Conduct Bureau says nation building cannot be complete without abiding by lay down law. Many people are involved in government and therefore they ought to declare their assets. Don't be afraid. Come, declare assets. And when you declare your assets, we investigate you and we tell you where you stand. We tell you there are five houses. We tell you, how do you get them? He calls on political office holders to join the war on corruption. Cyril Abaku, TVC News, Abuja.